Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, this is my second version of the Supercapacitor flashlight. It's much easier, no software, uh, and much less hardware. It's not as fancy as my last one, but when I submitted my Instructable, I think people were deterred by the complexity of the circuitry. So what I did was I made one that pretty much anyone should be able to follow. In fact, uh, my girlfriend made this one based on my design and it took her about two to three hours. I showed her the design, worked through her with it, and uh, she she's actually more mechanically inclined than I am. And she threw it together and she did a wonderful job. This isn't even fully charged, it's pretty bright. So uh, here, I'll show you how it, how it works. You take off the battery housing, and what we've got is a five millimeter DC jack here, uh, two 50 farad, 2.7 volt capacitors in the back there. Uh, We've got a the switch actually on the front. Uh, we're using the default dollar store flashlight switch to turn it on and off. And there's also a resistor bank in there, uh, equivalent to I believe 2.5 ohms, 10 watt. So what I do is you pl or you place your uh, wall transformer input here. You obviously take the back housing off. And uh, what we're using to charge this 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 design is based on a. 5 volt 3 amp wall transformer. So you plug it in and the caps won't ever be charged higher than 5 volts. As well, it charges, it takes only about 5 minutes to charge and you get about an hour's worth of full luminescence. In fact, you can keep this on for hours upon hours, but after a, while, after a few hours it just won't be very bright anymore. But that's the thing is, this super capacitor battery uh, uh, flashlight will potentially last forever. You'll never need a new flashlight. So let's charge it. And it's now charging. So literally only takes a few minutes to charge. And uh, you can actually keep it plugged in while you charge. And those will only get brighter as the capacitors charge. Uh, but once, like you, you leave, you charge this. You leave the room. You make yourself a sandwich. Have a, a beer. You do what you need to do. You come back. You can come back in the evening. You can leave it plugged in for days. It makes no difference. And then, whenever you come back, you take it out. Put the back housing back on. You don't really have to put the back housing back on, but there you go. Your own super capacitor flashlight that'll, that'll last pretty much forever. Uh, we used a dollar store flashlight. I think it actually cost about $1.50. And uh, the, the two super capacitors and the switch, well the switch came with it. The super two super capacitors cost less than 10 bucks. The resistor cost less, cost about 3 bucks. And uh, your DC charger, 5 volts at 3 amps cost less than 10 bucks. And there you go. You got a really cheap, really easy supercapacitor flashlight. Nothing fancy, but it does the job. Anyway, if you're in, if you're interested, uh, please visit instructables.com to uh, to see how I built it. Or rather how we built it. Thanks for watching, guys.